little darker, more sticky. Try it Yes, very good, much better, much better, but please synchronized. It's not 100% synchronized. Yeah? The hands together. Okay, good. Okay, what is the composer here? Okay, I thought it was Prokofiev for Barton. <laughs> no, sorry, no. I mean, come on, it's forte, but but even on this piano, not ta -da, not too vertical, you know, yapam. You know, I, I, I like a little bit more movement, like don't play percussion, play like, like a string instrument, you know. A, a good violist doesn't play like that, it plays like this. So I would like, yapam, yapam. If you make some movement with your arm, it will never be brutal. Yes. Yeah, much better. Thank you. Thank you. Already better. I have one more question, which is very important. What is the tempo here? And? Con fuoco. Did you check the metronome? No. You didn't? Yes. Why? <laughs> you don't care? <laughs> because you don't play presto. Huh? Okay. Let, let's check together, yeah. yes? I mean, I mean, I'm not the most fanatic about the metronome, to be honest. But sometimes I think it's good just to check, you know? So, presto. Presto starts at 168. And then you have a lot of possibilities, yes? But not prestissimo. So let's stay for. It's difficult because, of course, you have four and we are in three. You know that all the scherzi are in three. You know that, yes? So, of course, it's very difficult. Yeah? This is maybe. It's just to have an idea. Maybe this is a little bit too fast. But my problem is not so much the tempo, is that you choose one tempo and then you change completely. For example, here, you make molto ritardando. I have a little problem with that, you know? I, I think if you make ritardando, make it a little bit, but not so much, mm -hmm. because it, it's nearly andante at one point. Mm -hmm. It's still presto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we try one more time, one last time? Yeah. Oh, Don't hit me, why do you hit me? I have the impression, like, you know, you, you, like, you know box, boxing? No, no. Don't box me. <laughs> you know, really, I think it's important. And it's forte, it's not fortissimo. Yes! Very good. When it's forte, you play it fortissimo, mm -hmm. and when it's fortissimo, you play forte. Mm -hmm. so you know what? Mm -hmm. Call Frederic. Call Frederic. I say, Frederic, uh, do you agree that I change the text and I play fortissimo here and forte here? If Frederic says yes, you can do it. But if he doesn't answer, please respect the text. Mm -hmm. yeah? Let's try. <laughs> One problem in, that we see in many, with many pianists, to be honest, in this scherzo, is uh, this. So can we make a little test, just a little test, you play once again and you count for me. And you can count your rasvatri, rasvatri, if you want. Yes, I, I, I would like to hear you count. Oh, no, 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 of course. you have to wait, I need to feel you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you play this, you're Tim, 
and then there is nothing anymore. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Even if you don't play anything, I need to feel like the heartbeat, mm -hmm. you know? The heartbeat, you don't hear it, but it's always there, otherwise you die. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, yes, mm -hmm. you know, very important. And then, one more problem I have, you play very well, Roman, but you play ta 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 ti ta ta ti ta ta ti ta 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 I would like a bigger, yeah, a bigger line. So, tim tam ti da ta ti da ta ti da ta ti da ta tam pam pim pam 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 you know, I, I often give the example like when you drive the bike. You have a bike? No. You have no bike? No, no bike. No. But you drive already once a bike. No. Never? Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. A car? No, no car. No. <laughs> okay. Imagine you drive a bike. If you watch your feet, you fall. You need to watch in front of you. You know what I mean? Yes? Mm -hmm. So so if you ta 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 ti da ta 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 no. Yum tam ti da da ti da da ti da da ti da da dam pa dam pam 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 till here. Otherwise, it's static. Yeah. Already here, I know it's accent, accent. But which one is more important, the Do or the La? Which one is more? I think so, yes, of course. And you play the same, you play... Oh, God, but it's still accent, huh? so... Thank you. One more question. Uh, are you sometimes angry? Or never? Angry? I yes. Mm. Never? Sometimes. Very good, very good, of course. It's normal, you know? Sometimes in life, some things make us angry, yes? So, I think, you know, music is life. For me, music is life. When you play this, I think you can be more angry. Yeah? And then, sorry. No sorry. You know, don't play notes. Show me two characters. One person who is angry, and the other one, sorry. You know what I mean? A little bit more characters. Mm -hmm. Can we try that? Yeah, no. You person, when you, are, when you are angry, you say, I am very angry. Are you like that when you're angry? Very good when you're angry. You know, you play much better when you're angry. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Very good. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. For me, this is a little bit too weak. I know it's piano, but I think that sometimes piano has more tension than forte. I will give you an example. You know, my dad, when I was a boy, my dad was very strict, you know, because like I have Russian origins and uh, like Russian school, you know, this is very strict, mm -hmm. yes. And my dad was very strict with me, very. And when I did something bad, you know, he didn't shout. He didn't shout. He watched me in the eyes and he said, Philippe, stop. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> you know, so he didn't need to shout. He just, the tension in the piano, stop, was, was enough. So what I try to tell you here, I think this is not quite. This is not. Ah, beautiful sun, Greece, the beach. Ah, no, I think the piano is more tension. So don't play a little bit more. A little bit more like tension. Understand? Yeah. You know my problem is that your staccato. You have three ways to play staccato in my opinion. You have with the arm, like this, you have the cat staccato, staccato. I call it cat, cat, a little bit pizzicato, cat staccato, and then this one that we don't use so much. I think here, if you play, it's not tensed enough. I think, a little, if I make a little bit more, it's more precise. Very good. Much better, much better. 
another problem I have is you play very well, but you don't show me the, the line, you know? You play a little bit like this. I would like... I would like to, to hear... A little bit more. Yes. Very good. Your left hand is much better, and your right hand you play well, but I don't hear the polyphony. You play all the chords the same. Which one is the most important? This is like a string quartet, you know? Like a string quartet. In the string quartet, who is the boss? The first violin, the second violin, the viola, or the cello? Don't tell me the viola. <laughs> I love I love viola. But. So who is the boss? The first violin, yeah. But when you play, all the instruments play with the same sound. I'm sorry. You play this. I would like this. The first violin and the cello. These are the most important. Everybody is important. But if you play all the instruments with the same sound, there is no hierarchy. You understand? Okay. Much better, much better. Also on a harmonic point of view, I would like the resolution a little bit better. Can you play once again from here, a little bit slower? Because you have crescendo, but you also have yes. Okay, now the same in tempo. The same in, in, in tempo. Harmony or not? Do you study harmony? Yes. Yes? Because you play very good, but you play all the harmonies the same. You play this chord, this chord, this chord, this chord the same. I know there is accent, 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 accent. But even if each chord has accents, they cannot be the same. Can you play only the chords for me and try to tell me which is the direction and which is the most important one? Notes, huh? Yes, once again. And then. Okay. So how do you want to build it? You want team, no. bomb. No. Which one is more? Which one is less? Line. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Line. Yeah, line. Of course. But which one is more important? The first or the second? Mm. Yes, absolutely. I would like Yam Bom Toyam. Of course, not Yam Bom Tom. Not this, but not Tim Bom Tom. You know, the joke I always make with my students, which is not very funny, but if you play all the chords the same, it's a bit like Chopin ate too much pasta, you know, or ate too much soup or whatever, you know, a bit fat. I like elegant Chopin. Elegant Chopin. So Yam Bom Toyam. Yam Bom Yam Bom. So a bit less the second. Yes. Very good. Much better. One more question. Uh, what is the main difference for you between classical music and romantic music? Chopin is romantic. You agree? Yes. So what is? There are many differences, but what is the main difference? So there is no, no big line in classical music? In Beethoven? Mm, yes. Ah, okay. Mm. It's a good question, huh? Yes. <laughs> mm. um, romantic music have very um, beautiful pictures, beautiful... Um, okay. So th there is no beautiful picture in classical music? <laughs> but you're right, you're right. There is a difference, yes, of course. But can I tell you what my opinion is about that? Yes. In Beethoven, for example, 
when you play Beethoven, you keep the beat, the pulse, no? If you start moving the pulse too much, it's it's out of style, or Mozart. You cannot play too much rubato in Mozart. You understand? But in Roman, yes, more agogic. Agogic. What is agogic? Agogic is the movement between the lines, you know? If you play this, ta 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 ti ta ta ti ta 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 it's not romantic for me. I would like... A little bit more movement, mm -hmm. you understand? More agogic. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it doesn't sound romantic. About, uh, it's not only about playing accelerando, mm -hmm. it's about the feeling, you know, like you're not sitting. I, I don't think in, in this part you're like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, ras battery, ras battery. I don't think so. I think it's more, you know, like the urge, the urge of, you know, a little bit more movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Okay, one more question. When you have this, you play very good. But in my opinion, you play too much similar Which one is more important, the Sol or the La? From here. Which one is more important, the La or the Sol? This maybe gives you uh, some idea about the answer, no? Mm -hmm. You know what, Roman? You can do both. You can decide. You can play or you can play but what you cannot do is and I'm sorry to tell you, but you play two times the same. Yes, you can decide. It's your interpretation, not mine. It's your interpretation, but you need to decide. La da da di da da chi da da, but not two times the same. You understand? Mm -hmm. Can we try maybe? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. So this is very famous place. Very famous place. Very difficult. Uh, often people don't play this very well. What does Chopin write here? Yes. What means menomoso? Um, uh, exactly. Less movement, less fast. Mm -hmm. So a bit slower. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. But poco menomoso. Mm -hmm. It's not another tempo. Very slow. Oh, it's still presto. Mm -hmm. It's still presto. And you play adagio. <laughs> no, you don't play adagio. I exaggerate. But you, for me, for me, it's too much. Yeah. I know it puts sostenuto, so you have to hold a little bit. Absolutely, but I would not play another another tempo completely. You know, I would keep the same, uh, uh, how to say, a little bit the same uh, tempo, but then with with menomoso, but not too much. That's the first thing. The second thing, uh, Chopin does something here that many composers do, like Schumann, Brahms, all the time called emiola. You know what emiola is? Yeah. Emiola? So emiola is, for example, you are in three. One, two, three, one, two, three. But the, the Chopin writes one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Or you in two. One, two, one, two. And the composer does one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see? Here, it's like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But actually, the scherzo is in three. And I see someone that puts you need to play one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm sorry, but I disagree. I have to tell you I disagree. Because emiola, you need two and three. I need to feel uh, that the first beat stays the first beat and that the composer makes a joke. Like a joke, you know? Like we are in two or in three? I don't remember.